हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल प्लीज स्टे एट होम स्टे सेफ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न रीडिंग एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ मैप्स सिटिंग एट योर होम कंफर्टेबली चिल्ड्रेन हियर यू फाइंड टू पिक्चर्स वन इज द सैटेलाइट फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टेकन फ्रॉम द स्पेस एंड द अदर वन इज द वर्ल्ड आउटलाइन मैप कैन यू फाइंड एंड पॉइंट आउट ऑल द सिमिलरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द टू now here are the differences and uh, a photo has real features while a map has no real features a photo cannot show you how much and when it rains in a place or how hot it is or what are the differences between languages and lifestyles of people while a map can show you all these things a photo can show you original features like trees houses etc but a map cannot show you a photo you cannot modify a photo as per your needs but you can always modify a map as per your needs as and when you use them now we'll see maps down the ages in india from the very prehistoric times people have been speculating about the cosmos earth rivers seas skies etc evidences of these speculations have been found in the following a prehistoric painting from jawara mp vedic and puranic scriptures mention of seven seas mer parvata bharat varsha jambudvipa vedic sacrificial altars and buildings and few sketches pictorial maps at pilgrim centers elaborate maps of sailors aryabhatta used the concepts of latitudes and longitudes to help fixing locations on various places the mughals have learnt methods of central asian map makers and atlas making the british have made and used a variety of maps now children we are going to see the history of maps maps have a long history behind them the sumerians which is in present day iraq have imprinted maps of their lands on clay tablets to keep land records babylonians also present day iraq made some of the earliest world maps they imagined the world as a round disk they showed babylon their city in the middle around the same time the following geographers have prepared world maps arranging places from east to west and from north to south one is anaximander second one is hecatius of miletus which is now in turkey third one is herodotus these maps were based on the travel descriptions of many babylonian travelers and sailors they placed greece in the middle of the map they also divided the world into three continents europe libya and asia children now we are going to learn the romans romans also were greatly interested in maps and knowing about the places far and near they wanted to conquer the world build colonies in far off places and trade with them you may have heard about alexander a greek king who wanted to conquer the whole world and came as far as india some 2300 years ago maps became very useful and necessary for them the greeks tried to make the maps accurate with the help of longitudes and latitudes they tried to find out a set of places where the midday occurred at the same time these places were joined together with a line from north to south which was called meridian what is that is noon line they also tried to draw latitudes by connecting places which had equal length of shadow at noon with the help of these two kinds of lines they drew a grid on the map and located all the places from east to west and from north to south along these lines 
it was 2000 years to finally get correct longitudes and latitudes Ptolemy was one of the most famous geographers of the ancient world who prepared detailed maps of the world using these lines however these maps were all lost for a long time you may have noticed that most of these ancient maps give more correct information of europe and nearby countries they also give correct information about coastal places visited by sailors and traders but not the interior places the books written by ptolemy were used by arab so scholars and sailors to prepare maps one famous arab map maker al idrisi prepared a world map for his king in 1154 common era the map with legends written in arabic while showing the eurasian continent fully shows only the northern part of the african continent and lacks details of the southern africa and southeast asia it has two important features the first one is it shows the south towards the top of the map it places arabia predominantly in the center of the map before they discovered the books of ptolemy european map makers were greatly influenced by religious ideas of the bible and made maps of the world to represent those ideas given below is a map made by uh, around ca 1480 europeans discovered ptolemy's books but not maps and were stunned to learn about his accurate description of the location of the places they prepared some new maps based on them children you can find the maps here the second one okay now explorations during the 15th century ptolemy inspired a new enthusiasm in the non arabic world and some important European countries started making maps for new explorations and discoveries with the map. When the Arabs blocked the Mediterranean Sea, West European traders began to search for routes to India. These explorations and discoveries proved that the earth was not like flat disk, but a sphere like a ball. And after that, Mercator's projection in 16th century the father of dutch cartography which is called the art and science of map making gerardus mercator 1512 to 1594 who examined the previous works and made original maps mercator's map projection is famously known as mercator projection most of the world maps we now use are based on his projection only how great was he isn't he yes now children you can see the projection world map made by gerardus mercator in the 16th century as you know the world is like a ball but when we draw it on a paper we cannot show the curvature and have to show it as flat this inevitably causes some distortion either with the shape of the continents and with the distances will get distorted distorted or objects will get placed in the wrong directions mercator devised a method for showing the correct shapes and uh, distances this method is called uh, mercator's projection is still used to show the world on a map children thanks for learning the lesson but the lesson is not yet over The class will continue in the next session. Thank you.